Now, I haven't found the most perfect pumpkin quite yet, but here at Burden Gardens, I'm getting the perfect taste of autumn right here in the city of Baton Rouge. As the cool breeze of fall settles in Baton Rouge, families and friends are flocking to Burden Gardens to immerse themselves in a seasonal extravaganza. Haley Judge, a representative from Burden Gardens, highlights the key attractions that draw people in year after year. Number one attraction and thing that people anticipate the most is the corn maze itself. We w work with a local farm. She brings all of her animals from alpacas to cows to bunny rabbits and dogs. Uh, that's something a lot of people really enjoy. The pumpkin patch is another big draw. Uh, everybody loves the fact that they get to take home a pumpkin. And the fun doesn't stop there. Baton Rouge residents also look forward to the oh-so-fun decorations decorated hay bales or something a lot of people look forward to every year. Um, we have some returning styles like this guy right here. <laughs> the chicken is here nearly every year. With Burden Gardens urging attendees to embrace the rural atmosphere, parents and children get a hands-on experience with all things farm and all things fall. And so they don't get that kind of experience if they're growing up in Baton Rouge. So when they come out for the corn maze, um, it kind of brings a little bit of nature into their life. With Burden Gardens bringing the farm to you, it leaves attendees with the task of dressing for the occasion. Wear your, wear your shrimping boots and uh, be, you know, be ready to get dirty. Wearing clothes to get dirty in isn't the only advice from workers. They also recommend bringing loose pants so you can indulge in all the great food vendors. One vendor has become a fan favorite. Grammy's kettle corn people come back who came in years past and got to try the kettle corn for the first time they are leaving with bags full of kettle corn this year. Despite initial concerns about competing with LSU football Saturdays, Burden Gardens has become a staple for a diverse crowd, seeing around 3,000 people every Saturday. Many of these people have started a family tradition here at Burden Gardens. Keith Lewis, another organizer, emphasized the evolving nature of the corn maze, promising a fresh experience for returning visitors. We typically have a different design in the uh, corn maze every year. This year it's sort of a puzzle maze, which is sort of a traditional uh, maze, but in the past we've had a, a tiger design, we've had a pelican design, we've had a bee and honeycomb design, um, so every year there's a different, different uh, path that, the, that you'll take. So if you come back year after year, it won't be the same maze every time. It's going to be something new every time. This theme of tradition doesn't just stick with the attendees, but also with the volunteers. I had, I had a lady um, last week who, she came up to me while she was on the hayride and she held up her phone and she had a picture of me holding her, her child. And she's like, this is you, isn't it? And I said, yeah, that's me. And she goes, well, here's my baby. I want you to hold him again this year. As families revel in the fall festivities, Burden Gardens stands as a testament to the city's hidden gems. Haley expressed the hope that visitors take away more than just memories of a day out. We are more than just a museum and a garden, but we are a place where families build traditions. To kickstart your family's fall season, come out for Burden Gardens' last weekend event happening this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tickets are $15 each. Reporting for Tiger TV, I'm Elizabeth Richwine.